also, Bianca, we want to update you now on the Durham investigation. We got a new piece of information here. It was revealed yesterday in a new court found that Igor Danchenko was on the payroll of the FBI as a confidential informant in 2017. Danchenko was the primary source of, to the Steele dossier. He was charged in 2021 for lying to the FBI. This is special counsel Durham's investigation. According to some sources, appears to be slowly ending. The grand jury that Durham recently used to hear evidence has expired. According to the New York Times, he could convene another, but there are currently no plans to do so. Durham and his team are working to complete a final report by the end of the year. Now, in Florida, law enforcement officials arrested 160 people during a seven-day undercover human trafficking operation. The Polk County Sheriff's Office says Operation Fall Hall 2 resulted in 52 felonies and 216 misdemeanors. Among those arrested, Disney employees and teachers, detectives also there was seized cocaine, heroin, meth, ecstasy, and marijuana found on those people that have now facing charges. Seven of the arrested are suspected of being in the country illegally. And joining us now to discuss this is the sheriff of Polk County, Grady Judd. Great to have you with us, Sheriff. It is truly my honor to be with you today. Well, you guys do great work. And, uh, you know, this is an important time around the Halloween season. Uh, you know, I've done this with sheriff's offices before. You ride around, make sure none of these sex offenders are trying to court kids to their homes. But tell us what you uncovered here. I mean, Disney employees, teachers, this is very concerning. You know, my detectives are simply the very best in this business. And we don't make it a secret we tell people, we're going to go after you. And in one week, just one week, we arrested 160 people for a human trafficking operation. A deputy chief from a police department in Georgia, a corrections officer from the state of Florida, two teachers. We arrested one guy who used to be a technician or a technical guy for a high school was out on bond for having sex with a child in his office at school, we arrested him, as well as Disney employees. So at the end of the day, here's the message. If you go online thinking that you're going to find children or find prostitutes, what you may find is my undercover detectives mm -hmm. as we come after you. You know, 160 folks, uh, Sheriff Judd, uh, that is pervasive and disturbing. But the other side of this is what you're also doing is rescuing innocent people. You know, sex trafficking is is also something that, you know, we need to shine the light on as well. Um, according to your officials here, there were uh, two trafficking victims and another five possible victims. I mean, if you hadn't done this, where would the road have gone for these women, these victims? Oh, you're exactly right. That's the reason that we do these human trafficking operations. We know that these people, these young ladies, are actually bought and sold and traded by these predators who control their very lives. And we know they're victims. Most of them are victims or have been. They're just very difficult victims to deal with. So we were excited when we actually identified two and we have five more that we're focused on. One of the five has already sought services. And in the state of Florida, once we identify you as a victim and you get services, then we do away with all evidence of an arrest because you're a victim. Mm. You're not a suspect at that point. You know, seven of the arrested suspects are in the country illegally. Um, I just wanted to ask you about what you're seeing with illegal immigration in Polk County. We know we see the border wide open. Human trafficking is a big part of uh, the cartel's uh, revenue stream here. Are you seeing any direct correlation between the wide open border uh, in this particular, these instances of human trafficking and illegal immigrants in this case? Well, well, absolutely. We know down at the border where all of this is happening, they'll rush through a lot of children and a lot of illegal immigrants. And then on the other side, all of a sudden, they rush through a lot of methamphetamine and fentanyl. And the illegals come through while the Border Patrol's busy with people who are trying to come to the United States illegally for a better way of life. Involved in that is the problem that they say, okay, we've smuggled you over the border, now you owe me $10,000 or $20,000, so we're gonna indenture you into prostitution until you pay it off. 
Yeah. We're looking for those victims. We're also looking for those suspects, those that traffic in our human traffic and our human mm -hmm. trafficking victims. Well, we just want to, you know, I don't know, congratulations is, is some, sort of Commend. a weird word here. Commend yeah. you guys for the work that you guys are doing, uh, shutting this stuff down. Always a pleasure to speak with you, Sheriff, and we look forward to the next time we get to talk about some of the great work you and your deputies are doing. Stand by for news. We'll be talking soon. All, All right, right, Sheriff Judd, thank you. Glad you're on the streets there trying to rescue these uh, sex trafficking victims. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. September is historically the worst performing month for the stock market, so you better be ready for it. The Fed continues to aggressively raise rates, and J.P. Morgan is forecasting another mega rate hike September the 21st. Is that why Jamie Dimon said an economic hurricane is coming our way? Well, gold and silver have remained remarkably stable despite the Fed aggressively raising rates today. The Patriot Gold Group has a special incentive for Newsmax viewers. Huge! Now precious metals investors can enjoy the No Fee for Life Gold and Silver IRA on qualifying rollovers or enjoy free, discreet, insured shipping on all direct gold and silver purchases. Here's the number, 800-356-4470. Call 800-356-4470 today.